Greetings all, it's Devious Monkey here, trying something a little different again today. I have the A6600 coupled with my original A6600 lens, which is the 18 to 105 f4. I'm using this simply because today I want to get a little bit more reach, more than I want to, you know, have me in the frame. I'm in the frame enough, so that's why I took off the 10 to 18. I'm just sort of heading out and about. I'm trying to do something different today. No birding, although that's getting better, especially as more birds come out and I get better at using my gear. But that's okay. I don't feel like doing that today anyways. So I haven't determined if I'm going to go back to the boardwalk and if I go to the boardwalk where I'm going to go. I probably will go back to the very beginning like I did last week when I was trying to get surfers and kind of going from there. It is another gorgeous day, much warmer out today, like 10 degrees warmer out today. Yesterday it was like 68, 70, today it's 78. So by the time I get down there and I'm in the direct sunlight, it's going to be scorching. In fact, I need to put my AC on because I closed the windows. I have been playing around with everything and going through shit in my head about what I want to do. When I started doing this, I had the a7 III as my still camera, and then I had decided that I would get the a6600 for film. And then I started to invest in APS-C lenses, especially because I ended up selling the a7 III, and I got completely out of full frame and sold all my lenses and the camera and everything. And then I moved into a second A6600, plus I had the ZV-1. I'm gonna hold on to the ZV-1 more than likely. It is fine sitting there in the overhead setup for when I'm gonna do you know, overhead type shots, which I don't do all that often, especially because I'm not buying shit. When I was presented with the opportunity to get the A7R4, well, that moved me back into full frame and I, obviously love that camera to death. It goes everywhere with me. And I started investing in full frame glass again. That being said, I thought I was pretty happy with the A6600 hundreds that I have, that I was using for the filming. But then I started to move away from using them other than in the studio, because the cinema rig set up constantly and it never moves. But I ended up, once the Insta360 firmware stuff got fixed, I started using that taking that everywhere with me. Now, while it is good enough for what I'm doing, which is basically just walking around and, and, and showing point of view stuff, I mean, I will continue to use it as point of view. It isn't really all that great when you're, I wanna say run and gunning out vlogging because I, I mean, how many times have I turned it around and said, you're not gonna be able to see this, but you know, like it just didn't work out. And now that I've invested and, and I'm looking into investing in more full frame glass, it has gotten back to the point of, it's like having two different systems because I have APS-C stuff and full frame stuff. I like to keep things the same so that there's no, oh, you know, like I've got a Panasonic for this and I've got a Sony for that, blah, 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 blah. What it's boiled down to, and I know I'm like as bad as camera conspiracies when it comes to changing my mind about shit. When it gets right down to it, I have the a7R4. I love that camera. It is amazing and I'm gonna have it for a long time and I've got great glass for it. The problem is that I won't use it for for video. I, I just, it's not a video camera to me. It's a still camera and it's set up for stills and I can use it with my eyes closed as a still camera and that's the way it's gonna stay. Now, these A6600s though, I'm thinking to myself, okay, at this point, when I bought the second A6600, it was to be a still camera. And then I just started using it as a run and gunner because I didn't feel like taking the cinema camera, you know, the cinema rig down and all that. And now I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I can sell the two A6600s and all the lenses that I have. I have the 16 to 50 kit lens, the 18 to 105, the 10 to 18, and then I have the Sigma three sisters, the 16, 30, and the 56, all F1.4. All those lenses are fantastic. Do not get me wrong. It's a great setup, but I think that I'm gonna move back to all full frame stuff. That being said, I am not. Even though I, if I were to sell all this stuff, I would have more than enough to do all this. I'm not getting an FX3 or an A7S3. Way the hell too much camera for what I'm doing. 
and everything that goes with those is too expensive. Uh, you know, those CF fast cards or whatever the hell they're called. I, like now having to invest in those just in order to use the full feature set of all those cameras and everything and blah, 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 blah. No, I'm still just a vlogger. I, I just, I don't need a camera like that. I don't need to go out and get a red, you know, or anything crazy like that. In order to stay full frame, I, I see it as a no brainer. And because I like the A6600 and the form factor and everything, it's the A7C. It has some stuff that is great and it doesn't have other stuff that would make it better but it isn't an FX3, it isn't an A7S3, you, you know, like it's, it's not meant to be that. It's a filler camera somewhere in between there. It's perfect for somebody like me. So that's why I've pretty much decided that I'm going to sell both A6600s, all the APS-C lenses. I can put the A7C into a cinema rig style setup if I need to. When I get done with all this stuff and, and having the way that I have things set up I mean I've already thought ahead to all this I can set up my studio setting but pretty much keep it the same way all I got to do is throw the A7C uh, A7C into a cage which I will do because I always buy cages for all my cameras A7C small rig cage and I'm right back to where I was I plan on doing the A7C in combination with the 16 to 35 f4 that'll be the, f the the lens that i get that will be on that camera probably 95 percent of the time because it's going to be my filming camera and the 16 to 35 is going to be perfect for that for what i do all right whoops i'm not going to three ships <laughs> pure habit okay so uh that's pretty much what I plan on doing. Now, I'm gonna have to see how this is gonna work out with KEH or Adorama. And I had always said that I wouldn't do anything with Adorama as far as selling stuff and all that kind of crap, but I bought the A7R4 and all those lenses from them and became a VIP member. So I m hopefully won't get treated as crappily as I did in the past and Hopefully I can get some more money and I can work out a good deal that I'm selling all this shit back, but buying stuff and getting top dollar for what I'm selling and good discount on what I'm buying. So that's kind of what's gonna happen over the next couple of weeks. And then I'm in full frame, Sony full frame, and I'm staying in Sony full frame. I'm not selling any lenses because I'm not going to buy any lenses that I absolutely don't need. And you know, we'll kind of go from there. All right, so that's the plans that's, that's coming that I've been formulating in my head uh, pretty much this entire week. Not all of it fueled by, by COVID Moderna shot misery or anything. Just, uh, you know, I've just been thinking about it lately and, and I started toying with the idea of, you know, maybe, maybe I should sell everything and get an FX3. And again, I'm just not, I'm just not gonna invest in all the, uh, the accessories that I would need to take full advantage of, of spending that kind of money on those cameras they're overkill for me. So A7C for the win. Okay, today, again, I'm just out and about. It's the usual Sunday where, where I run around for a while, uh, have some fun, and then I go back and I, and I settle into my Sunday routine, which is laundry and office day. So that's pretty much all my plans that I'm, that I'm talking about with you guys for today and the rest of the week and, and you know where, where I see the devious monkey going. And I'll keep you posted all along the way. But for now, uh, I'm going to try to find a parking spot and then I'm going to go walk around and, and shoot some video and take some pictures. So yeah, let's do that. All right, kids, that's it for today. I'm beat. I got a lot of laundry to do. I have to go clean the grill because we're making hot dogs and I need to clean the grill because I love grilling. So a lot of shit to do and I need to wrap this up. It was very low key today. I didn't really take a lot of pictures. They, you saw with the machine, they were uh, dicking around there in the inlet. So that means no surfers and no dolphins. So 
kind of a bust, but whatever. At least I got to get out and enjoy how wonderful it is outside. As it is for now, that's all I got for you. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.